So was the hype audition a scam? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about the Hype Jeffen audition. And so you might be asking, if you watch this audition tutorial, you might be like, but this is already closed, what more could you talk about? Well, there has been some controversy around this, and I did want to clarify some things because a lot of you guys were misinformed. So that's the key word here, you guys were misinformed, unfortunately. And so I'm assuming this like TikTok was like going around, I think. And a lot of you guys were basing off your information off of that. So someone did actually send me a screenshot. I forgot who you were, but thank you for sending me that. Um, I actually don't really use TikTok, but if I do, I probably won't get K-pop audition stuff on there. So I don't know what this was, but someone, I don't even know who it is. I think someone on Twitter, of course it's Twitter, um, uploaded this post. I'll put it up here, but I will read it out to you guys. So it says, Hype Jeff and have been scouting people from dance companies, conventions in the United States through in-person auditions. The Instagram account Monsters Dance had previously posted two posts about how Hype Jeff and would be scouting at their building in Chicago. When those who auditioned online found out about this on Twitter, they were upset due to most online auditions have not been viewed yet, even though decisions were supposed to be have made by December 3rd. Some people took it upon themselves to comment on these posts regarding the unfair circumstances. One comment referred to the global online audition as a PR stunt and that they were never going to accept any global auditions. At around 8 a.m. December 5th, Monsters Dance removed both Instagram posts due to the uproar from these people who auditioned online. Many of these people accused Hype Jeffen of false advertising and using the dreams of ho those who auditioned online for publicity. Hype Jeffen has still not released a statement regarding the incident or what will be happening with these online auditions. Please keep in mind that this is just what I've gathered from people who have said on Twitter. So this was just like a normal person on Twitter and a lot of people were saying and accusing Hype of being a scam. That's what I really mainly saw in the comments. And so I based off of all of the opinions of other people, of the public, based on my comments. And these people weren't necessarily saying, oh, this is a scam, but they are mostly saying like, oh, I've heard this is a scam. And why this kind of influences like what I make is like the new Hype with Door audition. They were wondering if that was also a scam. But first, let me clarify. Just because they're doing both online auditions and both public auditions, it doesn't mean that it was a scam in any way. And it also doesn't mean that the people who auditioned online won't be getting in. And let's just take SM for example, because they are kind of like the most active audition place, I guess, for companies. And so SM uploads a lot of new auditions, and there are many different kind. So firstly, we have the weekly auditions. Those are the one-on-one -on -one Zoom auditions. And before COVID, they did this public. So this was like a public Saturday audition, and this was every week at the SM place. And then they also had the monthly auditions for a while, and they still have that online. Obviously, it's not an in-person thing, but they do also have that. They have, you know, just their website auditions. They have the tag SM auditions. There are so many different kinds of auditions. And so from these people, they're not just choosing people from the public auditions just because it's public and not online. That's not how it really works. It's just gathering people from different auditions to make a suitable group or to gather different trainees in order to make that group. It depends on what the company is thinking of, if they're directly thinking of a specific concept for a group, or if they're just kind of gathering trainees and seeing what they can kind of make out of that. So just because they have two different auditions, this online Hype Jeff and audition and then the in-person auditions, doesn't necessarily mean that one is going to be disregarded and one is only going to be regarded, if that makes sense. So for those who are upset that they online auditioned and they're like, oh well, they're not viewing this now, it's not really that disappointing. And one other thing that I wanted to mention is that this is kind of blown out of proportion. And one other thing that I wanted to mention is that this is kind of blown out of proportion just because of how popular this audition was. If you just really look at the views on my channel, you can see that the ones with Hive on the title obviously get more clicks because people want to audition for Hive more. And because of the fact that more people audition for this, it's the less chances of like the company viewing a video. Because realistically, they're not going to view every single one of them from the start to the finish. And so one of the things that people were saying is that I auditioned for this and this is past the deadline and this is past the time that they told that they would be viewing this and the applicants and the people who actually got accepted are already out. 
but my YouTube unlisted link is still zero. I haven't viewed it. No one else has viewed it. What happened here? So is this a scam? This pretty much confirms it. It's what people were saying. However, that's not really the case. Like I said, there's so many people auditioning for Hype. It's really realistically not possible for them to go through every single one. They might have missed a few or they might just honestly not even go for the videos if they don't like your application, let's say like your introduction, whatever that may be itself. Or there's a lot of cases where people do their audition wrong. And YouTube itself, this is kind of like a different issue, but it's still kind of is a part of it. So YouTube won't count your view unless you've watched a certain portion of it. So if you've watched from the beginning to the end, that's 100% guarantee one view. However, if they only watched a few seconds of it or whatever like that, they might not count it as a view. So there's also one thing to take into consideration. And one more thing I wanted to add here is that companies who do online auditions, they're not always going to view every single person's video. And I thought that was pretty much common sense, but I guess it's not. And that's totally fine if you didn't know that either. Maybe you thought they would view every single thing. But I feel like one more thing is that there's a lot of people auditioning, guys. It's not just whoever views my videos, right? It's people all over the world, people who are in Korea, outside of Korea, people who are really serious about this dream, or even people who just kind of do it for fun. There's a lot of people auditioning for this. And the fact that you expected them to watch every single video is a little bit high for your expectations. And this is the same for any other company, not just Hybe. And the reason why this Hybe specific Jeff and audition is blowing out of proportion is because of its popularity. And this isn't invalidating your feelings about how you're upset about like not getting your audition viewed and I totally understand that you worked a lot of hard hours and whatever like you have the talent but they still didn't view your video that is upsetting however you have to think it of as keep trying you know if they didn't view your video this time they might view it next time and the more auditions you try the more chances you get this is something that I repeat in almost every audition tutorial the more you do the more chances you have so if you're only auditioning for hype because you only wanted to get into that company is it really your dream like let's talk about that this is like a totally different issue but like is it really your dream to be a k-pop idol if there's only one specific company that you want to get into like let's say you want to become a doctor but there's only one unit university that you want to go to, one med school that you want to go to. Is it just the title of that med school or that university? Or is it your actual dream and your actual passion of becoming a doctor? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, is it really your dreams if it's only one thing that you want to go for? That's a little odd to me, but that's a little unrelated. You might not be feeling the same way, even if you still audition for Hype Jeffen, which is kind of unrelated. Okay, and a lot of people are accusing Hype Jeffen of false advertising and using this stunt for publicity. But I don't know why you guys would think that, because holding online auditions, what does that really do? collect people who want to audition, right? Not necessarily like fans. There are a lot of fans that don't want to audition and obviously my viewers are K-pop fans who want to audition so I might not be really talking to the right people here but there are a lot of people that don't want to audition either or people who didn't even know about this. However, they wouldn't just hold a fake audition just for the stunt, you know? Like that makes no sense. I don't know what's what that is all about. Like I don't think that would gain really anything for the company. It's even like more work to create the audition and have it as a scam either. And you guys might be thinking, did I pay you? I wish guys, I wish. So far, no company has paid me to make these amazing audition tutorials <laughs> or these K-pop audition videos, but no, I'm not defending them. They're not my favorite company, to be honest. I'm pretty eh about them. I don't really stand those groups within that company. I don't really have any affiliation. So this is coming from my perspective. And obviously you might hold different um, perspectives. You might think that if a company is holding an audition, you might expect them to view every single one of them, no matter how, mi how much they have, because it's their responsibility. And I get that perspective too. So there's just this one comment from a random person on the Monsters Dance account, I think, or something relating to a high ref and f post. So it says, we want an explanation of why you're recruiting people at a dance convention. It's not fair that some people can audition in person and others online. Wasn't this audition 100% online? Are you guys playing with our feelings and time? They said the results would come out on December 3rd, and it turns out they were at a dance convention. I'm so upset. Not gonna lie guys, doesn't this remind you of like a really really jealous girlfriend because her boyfriend is not with her in somewhere else? I don't know. That's the vibes I'm getting. Oh gosh! 
this comment makes me a little bit frustrated just because of how blind it is. It's really purely looking at your own perspective. And of course, these are just only comments from normal people that probably aren't really thinking about it much when they comment. Imagine this person's watching this video. Sorry, but that's the truth. Okay, so this person's essentially upset because they are at a dance convention and not focusing on the online audition. Well, in the first place, they never really said that they would be only holding online auditions. And this is normal for any other company, like I said in the beginning. They have multiple auditions, and from those, they choose different people. And if you think it's not fair that some people can audition in person and some people can do it online, that's just the way it works, guys. This is honestly, I feel like people are getting used to the online audition system, which is honestly, it has a lot of strength, but it also has a lot of cons too. So when it was before COVID, there were not as much as online auditions. And of course, this is getting more publicity now, like online auditions itself, because it's going on around the internet. And of course, in-person auditions, not everyone can attend. And that's just that. Like, why are you being hurt just because and calling it not fair that you can't make into the in-person auditions. Of course, it's not fair that not everybody can make it in, but what are what is anybody going to do about it? They can't realistically hold auditions in person everywhere. Like, I don't know what this person really means by this comment, and I get them. Like, I get why they would be upset. However, they're only really thinking about themselves and being a little bit selfish, to be honest. And then there were other people that were saying there's no one who got accepted within this Hybe online audition which is not true. How would you guys know? Obviously, I can't confirm that there was someone who passed it because, let's be honest, <laughs> this, this is so unrelated, guys. But when people pass auditions, it's honestly automatic that they come to me, like, like my Instagram DMs and be like, oh my god, thanks to you, I passed. Of course, there's some people that comment on YouTube videos too, which is like fine. But more so, there are more Instagram DMs that I get when people pass certain auditions that I made audition tutorials for. And I'm really happy for that. However, I can't share that information. So obviously, I can't confirm, wink wink, that no one got in. But I highly doubt that no one got in, guys. You see what I'm trying to tell you here? Yeah. You don't know if no one passed just because a specific group of people said that theirs wasn't viewed yet or they never got an email back from them saying that you passed does not mean that no one got accepted. It's just the people on the internet now saying that oh, I didn't get in. Did no one get in? Is this a scam? And then it just jumping from conclusion to conclusion to conclusion. And then there are more comments about calling this a scam. Why are you ruining your own reputation? And if you did it this as a PR stunt, then that would be really, really low. Yeah, that's not really the case. I'm not really sure what makes this so different about other auditions. Like, why is it so surprising, guys, that this certain company, of course, they are a really popular company, but why is it so surprising that they hold online auditions and then do other in-person auditions too? Some other misinformation things that are being spread is like companies should say whether they're doing these auditions at this time, at this place, or share it publicly essentially. But guys, this is honestly the only reason why they're really sharing these public things when they are is because they're online auditions, not because they're in-person auditions. Most companies don't even announce that they're going to specific dance academies or specific singing academies. And this is the same thing for Korean places as well. So yeah, I feel like you guys are having like a little bit of a double standard maybe. Maybe it's just because the people who are auditioning for HYBE only know about HYBE and that's where they're kind of basing their information off of. And then there are people also saying that this is supposed to be an equally chanced global audition. Why are you only going to this place? Yes, it's still a global audition if you do a global online audition and then recruit people from other places. At this point, I'm just repeating what I said, but that's how a global audition works, guys. It's not always going to be fair. It's not always going to be equal. And that's just life. There's nothing no one can do about that. And this company is only trying to recruit the best people out there, guys. They're not trying to make you guys feel bad. They're not trying to make a PR stunt so they can fool people and make their company more popular. That's not really benefiting them in any way. So with that all being said, that is my perspective on this hype, Jeff, and is it a scam thing? My answer it's kind of clear through this video. So yeah, that's it. If you guys disagree, that's totally fine with me. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that disagree, especially from those who actually auditioned for this. And if you think this was a scam, there's really nothing else I can say except watch the video. Like it's not a scam. Try for other auditions if you didn't get in this time, guys. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my perspective on this. Oh no, my computer's turned off. Hold up. Today's little thing says, subscribe to both channels. <laughs> I meant to say, are you subscribed to both channels? But I wanted to keep it short. So are you subscribed to both channels? This channel and Irene's podcast? If not, I would recommend that you do that right now. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't you like my new top? I love it. Heart. Comment down this emoji if you made it until here. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.